All right, now let's let's move on to something a little bit more serious. Uh, this is uh, with regards to hundreds of Indian nurses losing their jobs in UAE. Now, Gulf News reported on 14th October 2019 that more than 200 nurses who were holding diploma uh, diplomas from India, they've either been demoted or terminated. Why? Because UAE suddenly just woke up and decided that, oh, okay, fine, you have a diploma. Okay, now you need a bachelor's degree in nursing as a minimum qualification in order to be a registered nurse. So all of a sudden, they just decided to change the rule. And because of this rule, uh, 200 nurses who were having diploma certificates uh, have either been demoted or they have asked to resign or they have been terminated. Now, the only option that most of them have is um, they will pursue a post basic BSc nursing program from universities accredited in the UAE uh, by the Ministry of Education 2020. So they can make some little bit of money there or they will have to, you know, just leave the country or maybe do some, you know, maybe lower level task or work in some private hospital if they can. You know, see, the problem is when they come out with these new rules and they implement them suddenly without giving them a buffer. I mean, there are so many people whose lives can get affected. Now, over here, just just, just think about it. If you have a husband and a wife, both of them working to make ends meet, to take care of their children, and Indian families, mostly Asians, Indian, Pakistanis, Bangladesh, Sri Lankans, whatever, they take care of their parents back home. They take care of their parents, their relatives, whatever. Now, just imagine... The person has spent a huge amount of money, a huge amount of money to educate themselves. Nurses pay something, correct me if I'm wrong, in the range of uh, $15,000 to maybe twenty to $30,000 just to get a diploma. Now, after paying this kind of money to different universities and then coming to Dubai to start a new life, and, you know, they settle down, they spend a little bit of money to settle down. Okay, child goes here. Okay, we start a life only to be told, I'm sorry, what you studied, what you're good at. Now you can't work anymore. You just cannot work anymore. Find yourself another job. You know how much it will destroy that family? I, I can't even imagine. And then they need to have a plan B. And if you're just starting your life or you, you know, just living hand to mouth, all of a sudden you have to make a new change. I mean, that really destroys a family. So here you have 200 families, 200 nurses, 200 families, all of them have to run helter skelter just to, you know, find a solution. Now, for those who completed it from University of Kerala, I think for them, it's not a problem. But for most others who did it from different other parts of India, where in India, they're saying it's okay, we recognize it. Anyway, they're saying, no, I'm sorry, we don't recognize it. Get yourself a bachelor's, get yourself a degree, or you can bye-bye. So I look at it as, you know, what the fuck are you doing, man? You know, so many people do feel that this is high quality. I don't think there's any high quality here because it's uh, it's your life is in the doctor's hands, not in the nurse's hands. Most of these nurses are really hardworking. Uh, I mean, individuals who really, really uh, put their heart and soul into their jobs. I've never had a bad experience with any uh, nurse, um, Indian nurse or, you know, all the nurses in the UAE. They were, it's always the doctors who have had a problem with. So I, I really feel bad for them. And I hope that, uh, I mean, I don't think the government gives a fuck anyway. So I just hope they get a solution and... Uh, I just hope common sense prevails between both the countries or at least give them a fucking buffer time of two years to make the transition, you know, not just suddenly. This is the problem. This is the fucking problem in the Middle East where they just change the fucking laws like they're changing their fucking underwears. They will not have the same restrictions or rules for their citizens, but for the expats. And that is a fucking shame. You use people when you like and when it's no longer your benefit, you tell them fuck off. That's fucking wrong. So anyway. Next one is um, UAE News. Dubai police assures their confidentiality for cyber crimes. October 20th is the uh, report that came out that Dubai police in its Twitter handle said, if you have any online um, illegal activity for which you follow victim, like cyber extortion, online hacking, internet fraud, online identity theft, anything like that, and someone's blackmailing you and asking you for money, 
just don't be afraid approach us okay and we will take care of you and they've given their uh, website ecrime.e the only issue i have with this is let's say you're having an extra marital affair with someone who's married or you're married and you're having an affair with a girl or you're not in a marriage and then you're having an affair with a person uh, because UAE is run by Islam laws and you're having an affair. So there by default you're breaking the law. So now what is you're breaking the law? Now someone else kind of blackmails you. Oh, you know, you're having, I have your sex videos or I have proof that you had sex. Uh, you don't pay me the money. I'm going to fuck your happiness. So if you go to Dubai police and tell them this guy is blackmailing me. Do you think, do you seriously think that the Dubai police are going to say, okay, the guy who blackmailed you, we will catch him, but you both, you're fucking each other, which is wrong because you're not married. That's okay. We'll leave you. I don't think so. So the only people who can go and approach this law is the people who are having a clean shit, clean bill of health. But if you have done something wrong, wrong as per, wrong as per the laws of UAE, like let's say had sex with someone or you know and then you approach them that is the big question what might happen now, i'm not saying all the bible police people are going to put you in jail but would you take the risk is a big question so anyway i'll leave that to you okay coming to a little bit of good news finally one good news i can share with you this elevator mechanic uh, who had an accident and his severed arm fell down 21 floors uh, thanks the, to the doctors of uh, this hospital, I think it's uh, Russia, the hospital, they attached it back and they've even taken a photograph of both the doctors. So nothing but respect to both the doctors that they literally waited and made sure that, you know, when this report was given that uh, they were ready to not only take this guy in, but stitch it. I, my close friend is an orthopedic surgeon. I have friends who are doctors and I know how how complicated an operation like this is there. So nothing but respect to this, uh, these doctors, nothing but respect to all these people who are involved in making sure that this gentleman's arm through which he earns money, through which he looks after his family was attached. And, um, you know, nothing but good wishes for him. Uh, it'll take some time for him to get back to uh, leading his normal life. But then again, you know, at least he has his hand. So, a little bit of good news, which I thought is worth sharing. So it's not everything negative that I do share with you. Okay.